Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at the new logical editor in Cubase 12 and the fantastic presets that come with it. Let's have a look. Hi guys, in this video I want to show you the new logical editor in Cubase 12 and how much it's been improved. Now I find it particularly useful to randomise your drum positions and velocities so they sound a bit more human and this has always been lacking in Cubase. In Logic there's a humanised function but we now have this in Cubase, thank God. So let's have a look at it now. So to demonstrate this, I've just got a groove agent pattern across Smoky Hall under the rock preferences. And all I've done so far is just drag that pattern in here. And that's the one you can see here. So I haven't done anything with it, it's just to demonstrate this point to you. Every single drum is exactly on the grid, which doesn't sound very natural at the moment. So no drummer in the world can play like that. So let's have a look at logical presets. So what you need to do is just highlight the MIDI you want to affect. Go to MIDI and logical editor and apply preset. And this will bring up your apply logical presets window. And you want to close down user presets. Obviously, save your own in this section here, but you want to go to factory presets. And you've got all these really useful presets already set up for you. And there's loads here. I'm going to try and go through some of these. Now, for drums, you want to be looking at the notes positioning and quantize and the velocities. So let's just open this one here. And I'm just going to open up the window and have both on screen at the same time. So we can actually see what's happening. So keep an eye on the note positions. What you can do is stuff like randomize position, plus or minus 10 ticks. These are already set up for you. So all you've got to do is press apply preset, but you can hit apply preset more than once if you wish. So you can see them moving there. And it's randomizing the position to plus or minus ticks. A ticks is a very, very finite measurement of the 16th note. There's roughly about 200 and something ticks in a 16th note. So let's have a listen. And you can now see, if I zoom in, that some of these are off the grid. It's completely random, which is really, really useful. Obviously, that's going to help us sound a bit more human. So before, I've had to come in here and do all this manually. And there's other options here as well. Shift every second note plus 10 ticks or shift every second note minus 10 ticks and stuff like that. Or you can shift the whole thing across, shift position, 10 ticks, that's everything. So everything's a bit early, you can do this, apply preset, and you can see everything's gone over 10 ticks to the right. So everything's slightly late now, but it just makes it so much quicker and easier. So if we go to notes velocity as well, some of these are applicable to like notes and chords and things like that, which we'll come on to in a bit. But you can plus 10% to the downbeat, 2 and 4, or minus 10 to the downbeat, or minus 10 to the offbeat. All these really, really useful presets. So let's just do plus 10% to downbeat. And you can see them changing here. I'll just undo that. Just make that velocity a bit bigger. Apply preset. And you can see some of them have now been increased. So you can make certain drums louder. Or every other hi-hat on F sharp one, which ours are, these ones here. Every other hi-hat, velocity minus 40. Keep your eye on the velocity down here. And you can see they reduced. So there's loads and loads of really great stuff in here so i recommend you have a look at this it's going to speed up your workflow no end so there's loads of other stuff in here as well let's go to our chords so i've just got some very 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 quick chords here so let's have a look at this and quite often with chords you want to add a bass note or you want to add another octave on the top and usually you copy and you drag up or you highlight all the bottom chords or notes rather and you know you copy and drag them down 
which is fine, but it's all a bit of a faff. So there's a much easier way to do this now. So notes transpose, we can add a higher octave to all notes before the cursor. So make sure nothing is selected like that and put the cursor at the end, highlight it and click apply preset. And you can see now we've doubled up at the touch of a button. Or let's say you only want to do the first two chords. So put the cursor in the middle and apply again, and you've only got them doubled up on the first two. Add lower octave to all notes, blah, 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 you get the idea. You can randomize notes, you can set notes all to fixed pitch, transpose one octave up when sustain pedal is down, great stuff. And you've also got musical context here where you can start adding sub bass to chords and changing your major chords to minor and that kind of thing. Note length, you can increase the length by one frame or 10 ticks, whatever, or you can randomize lengths, let's say to a quarter note. And there we go, randomize the lengths. You can see they're a little bit different. Shorten the length by one frame, and you can keep pressing apply, or obviously increase the length if it doesn't quite do it how you want. You've got loads of stuff under note expression as well and copy and extract, so you can copy the kick drum. So let's just go back to our drums here. This is really useful, by the way. You can copy the kick drum C1, this one here, take it out of this MIDI segment and create a new track. This is so important, because sometimes, or quite often, you wanna change the kick on these patterns. So all you gotta do is apply preset, and it takes the C1 kick out, and it's gonna give me a new track. And here we go, here's my track with just the kick on it, which I can now swap the sample out in Groove Agent, or I can drag this onto a sampler track and choose a completely different kick or whatever. It's just so quick. Or you can do extract the snare drum to a new track, copy the highest notes in chords to a new track. Really, really useful stuff. Delete every fifth note, delete the melody line, delete minor sevenths etc 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 there's so much stuff in here and you can also double the tempo or half the tempo so half tempo on these drums double the tempo we should put it back to normal and double it again so that's really useful as well so guys, check out the new logical presets within the logical editor in the new Cubase 12. This is one of the many decent upgrades in this new version. I think as time goes by, I'm starting to realize that this Cubase 12 is actually really, really good. And I'm starting to really make use of a lot of the new features, particularly the FX modulator as well. And I'm also using the Razor plugin quite a bit. So lots more videos to come. If this video was at all useful for you or you found it interesting, please do press the like button and please do subscribe just so you get notified the next time we put out an interesting video. All the very best, guys. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.